Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title today, I'm going to be having my pregnancy cravings. This table is filled with literally everything I craved while I was pregnant. Um, I actually filmed this already before, but when I was in the process of moving, I lost my camera and my memory card, so I might as well go ahead and record it again. Let me tell you all the good stuff that we have here. We have the Oreo cookies and cream ice cream, American style cheesecake, powdered mini donuts, cheddar and sour cream chips, two hash browns, and my favorite, which is loaded fries with bacon and cheese and hot chicken tenders. It has like, it's all melted in here with bacon, cheese, all of the good stuff, and of course, ranch. As a drink here, we have the Inca Cola. If you're Peruvian, you know all about this good stuff. If you've never had it, it's kind of like an, a bubblegum taste, but it's so good. So I don't even know where to get started, honestly. Let me go with, I think, these fries with hot chicken tenders. Ooh, I wish you guys could smell this. It is so good. I'm going to take the hot tender. And as a disclaimer, I am not pregnant. My son is three months. He just turned three months last week. But as I said, I did record this before I gave birth. And I was in the process of moving and I completely lost my camera and my memory card. So I have no footage of it. This is actually a new camera that I purchased. I love recording that video, so I just went ahead and did it and redid it. Literally everything the exact same. But today I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys about my delivery story. And a little backup and all of that. I had an emergency C-section with my 16 month old. So, and I had the same OB as I had with Giselle. So my OB suggested that I had a planned C-section this time. She thought it was safer because I did ask her, can we wait until I get into labor to just, instead of just getting him out beforehand. Because my due date was June 17th and the C-section was planned June 12th. She suggested that we have a C-section, so I have never felt labor pains, as normally all women do when they go, when they're pregnant, when they're about to give birth. Come June 12th, the appointment was at 12.15 that the procedure was going to happen. So I had to be there two hours earlier. So I was there at 9.30 I got to the hospital. And we were just waiting until it was 12.15 so I could go ahead to the room and so that the procedure can start. So come 12.15, I go into the room and I start getting so nervous. I think I started, yeah, when I, w I entered the room because my husband couldn't come in while they were putting the anesthesia. So I went to the room by myself and I literally started shaking. You would think it would be easier for me because I went through this before, but I didn't remember any of this happening on my first time. Like I said, I was going through preeclampsia, so I was literally knocked out. I was just trying to calm myself down because getting nervous is just going to make things worse. 
So I was like, it's going to be over soon. And I was just thinking of my daughter while I was like getting all this. They were just putting anesthesia in my bag while I was just sitting there. And that's actually the worst feeling out of like... People normally say the IV is the one that they drive, but I I just hated that feeling of the anesthesia going in my back. After they did all that, they let my husband in. So it, I felt a little bit better once he came in and he was just there next to me. I love these chips. Probably one of my favorite chips. Beside Pringles. Oh my goodness. My husband just put me on the pizza Pringles. My new favorite flavor of Pringles. It's better than the sour cream. So much better. So once it came time for her, my OB arrived and she... And I was completely done from the bottom. So she started the procedure and it did take like 20 minutes for her to get Gabriel out. And the baby was breached. So he was, his head was literally below my boobs. 12.59 he was born. Like on the dot, one minute before one. He was completely healthy. And he came at 7 pounds, 12 ounces. Compared to my firstborn, she was a little 4 pounds. Once we were settled in our room was when the breastfeeding began and the lactation nurses just came in. And we just had doctors back to back like come in and check if everything was fine. And the milk did not... I was actually dreading that before I gave birth was the breastfeeding because... I did not produce that first day and it's very common to not produce thankfully he did latch on and in my I think the milk started coming in on the fifth day fourth fifth day was when I started producing milk but I would have to say that the second not even the first day after um, the c-section was the hardest I believe the second and third day, one of those days, were really bad because I got a crap load of cramps. I'm not the one to take medications. They offered me Tylenol and they offered me all this stuff so the cramps would go away. But I felt like if I take any medication that my milk supply was not going to come in. Even though they tell you that, oh, it's not going to affect your milk at all, I, I still don't believe it, so... I suffered with those cramps. I didn't take anything at all. I forgot all about these hash browns. Oh my goodness. I ordered two of them. I actually wanted to get the big breakfast. Mm. So the third day we ended up leaving and we got released because... Ugh, I was so happy to leave the hospital because literally it's not comfortable at all. You have like nurses coming in every 30 minutes. They don't let you sleep. So I was like, thank God I'm home already. Breastfeeding was not something I did with just Sal. Not exclusively because she was in the NICU. So they automatically gave her formula. I was still really sick. So I did not get to breastfeed her. Or have skin to skin the first day she was born, like compared to this time. So like, breastfeeding was also something like really new for me at the time with Gabriel. So fast forward to now, I am still actually exclusively breastfeeding Gabriel. 
it was definitely tough in the beginning and i will have to say i did try the mother's milk tea and i feel like that did bump up the bilk <clears throat> but it also made him fussy at the same time so i only took um i only took one box which came with 16 teas and i did see the milk producing but after that i stopped taking it because i don't want a fussy baby and you know i don't want to bother his stomach or anything so i just stopped taking it but i have not had problems with milk production after i stopped taking it or my milk hasn't decreased or anything like that so i just stopped taking it completely and i haven't taken anything so far to keep on um bringing on milk but i will say it was definitely a, a challenge in the beginning to get that production coming in even now it is sometimes challenging because they go through growth spurts and they just want to be hung onto you for the whole day and it's hard for me because i do have a 16 month old so i can't just be sitting on the couch having him on me the whole day because i do have a tend to i do have to attend my 16 month old so that's actually something really different this time because when Jassal was first born I could literally just lay with her whenever she wanted and she would be laying on my chest and all of that but with Gabriel once he falls asleep I just put him on his bassinet and then I just continue what I have to do unlike with Giselle so that's definitely something that was different he just turned three months old and yesterday night was actually the longest night he slept so he went to sleep at 10 and then he woke up again at 6 a.m. so we're getting slowly there to him sleeping at night but i went to go visit my doctor last month and i told her oh everything's so much better and she's like is it really or is it just something we get used to and it's true because i'm like good question because i don't even know if it's like i'm used to it now or did it get better in the beginning it was draining because i love sleep and i would have to wake up every night every two hours and it was just so draining and in the daytime i would get a little bit of napping but still you know it's never enough if you're a mom who just gave birth or you're going through hard times just know that it will not last all the tough times will end and your little one will sleep through the night and everything will just get so much easier I honestly believe after like four months, after they turn four, it starts getting so much easier. It's like the newborn phase, it's like so hard, but then once it ends, you just start missing how cuddly and how small they are. It's like now just was like 16 months old and before I could cuddle her and I could lay with her and I could kiss her and now she's just like all over the place. She doesn't want to sit with me or anything, but that's how it is now. You start missing that newborn phase no matter how hard it was. I believe I mentioned everything I needed to for my delivery and my scar right now, actually you can't even feel it. Um, whenever I touch it, it's like I can't even feel my hand. It's like when you touch your elbow and you can't feel anything and you can't even feel your elbow. That's exactly how it feels. But yeah guys, let me know if you're pregnant, what your pregnancy craving is. I didn't start getting cravings until about four months in. Oh, she actually gave me three hash browns. I had her two, but she gave me... Isn't it the best when you get extra something? She only tried me for two. Mm -hmm. I think I mentioned everything I needed to mention. If you guys have any more questions, just let me know in the comment box. I'll be answering them. Um, if you guys have any mom tips, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and be saving all of this, but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the love on my last video. I miss you guys so much. Go ahead and leave me any suggestions down below in the comment box. Any video suggestions it does not have to be food. It could be really anything. And give, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And I'll be seeing you guys on my next video. Bye guys.